Which, wow, really? from what I just saw, doesn't look much better. Well, <laughs> Captain Zack jumped off the stage. I bet he flew he, back he, on. He jumped off the stage, high fived Sage, and then said, "Okay, we play." Yeah. <laughs> he afterburner kicked back on the stage. Like, come on, boy, get over here. <laughs> Well, Bayonetta versus Ness. We've seen this quite a lot in this region before between people like Aerolink and Iggy versus Austin. And now we're going to get to see a couple of different people do get out in this matchup. So we'll be interested to see these different play styles mixed together. He just low profiled that forward smash. Super hardcore. This is going to be interesting. I get, Tell me a little bit about what Ness does better in this matchup. Because well, I, I can see it being tough, but I can see it being really good. Ness kills uh, much more reliably oh. than Bayonetta does. Okay. He, uh, he's he got that back throw. He's got, uh, you know, PK fire to baseball bat and stuff like that. I think that Ness's kills are just a lot more reliable than Bayonetta's are. And uh, much easier to find because Bayonetta in this matchup does have to work past Ness's incredible aerial mobility as well. Yeah. Yeah, I can agree there, but I also see, you know, how Ness struggles with characters who have those disjoints. Those long legs are practically massive disjoints that Bayonetta can space herself with and small people out. Oh, Ooh. very smart from Captain Zack, but that's not going to get him the stock just yet. He needs to have a very strong edge guard, falls down with the neutral air and gets the stock. Very smart and also very risky. I was thinking that he was going to drop down do what a lot of bayonetas do, which is drop down and then witch time, just like he did right there. Why witch time? Why witch time off the stage when you can do it on the stage and get three up tilts? Yeah, <laughs> 22% off of that and getting some more. Oh, he's carrying over to the sky. Great combo, great air dodge. Oh, oh no! He went too hard and he's going to lose a stock for it. I bet Sage is definitely saying we take those though. Yeah, and I think uh, some of the crowd supporting the we take those mentality as well. Hey, Arkansas re is up there Represents. for their boy. They represent. They are up there for their boy. All right, neutral air just to fade away and get a little bit of those article damages in. Sage, I, not intimidated, though. Yeah, I, I love the spacing Captain Zach's been using, though. He's been applying pressure in the air and then positioning himself where he can always land that down tilt for free, and it's great. Because Sage just hasn't found a way to adapt. They're baiting him to throw out an option and getting that down air. He's at another edge guard situation. Smart recovery from Sage. Down air? Oh wow. my goodness, the PK fire to down air. I see Ness mains miss that so frequently because the hitbox, the sweet spot on that down air is terrible. But Sage's definitely feeling good for landing that when it counted. And what's interesting is that it's such an effective combo, but we haven't seen Ness mains utilize that too much until very recently. Uh, using the PK fire to down air as a confirm. I really enjoy seeing it as an edge guard because it looks super cool. It's sick. So game two, we're going to Town and City and Captain Zack has made the color switch. He has gone to the superior color that everybody should be playing anyways. Meanwhile, Sage starting off with a pretty decent string here. Forward throw off the stage and now pestering him with the PK Thunder. Captain Zack just having a little bit of trouble getting around the wall of projectiles, but now finding that opportunity past the PK Thunder, he's going to slide in with the heel slide and get a nice little combo going and now just in the lead. Yeah, he's, he's always doing a really good job with racking up that early percent, but he's probably not feeling the best after that last game. It, he SDs, and then he just gets robbed at the ledge by Sage. He's going to need to keep that mentality oh. strong and find a way to get this these stocks consistently and let himself get into a game three. Yeah, and I think that this is a good stage to do it on. He's got the low ceiling and the small blast zones on the side, and I think that the only detriment to him here is that Sage will be able to kill with back throw a lot earlier. Off stage, a good recovery back on, recovering high. It's something that you don't necessarily see all the time. Necessarily see all the time, sorry. Necessarily almost, see. Almost missed the pun. But, ooh, oh, wow, gosh. great option with that up here. Yeah, he's being a bit more aggressive on the recovery, and that's allowing ooh. himself to get back. Wow, the giant fist ooh. into the taunt. A replay of game one that which twist, I mean, at which time is going to get him a lot of money. Wow. Captain he's getting Zach. so much money. This man's becoming rich, so unable to take it off the top. Oh, that we had Lotto with a PK fire to the bat. It's going to be big. And he taunts right back. The the uh, freaking communication going on here right now through taunts is incredible. I think I think we're seeing the uh, the the taunt from Captain Zack initially to kind of 
to kind of disquiet the Arkansas crowd a little bit. Just to say, hey, I'm here, all right? Yeah. He, I can hear you. Yeah, and he's definitely looking for these big moments to shut them up through the game. He needs to find a way to take out the stock, though, because last time we were in a similar situation to this, Captain Zach just lost the stock, and then Sage was able to punish so well off the stage. These edge guards have been so good for Captain Zach. He waited this Ooh. time because he noticed that jump was going to come. Is he going to be able to take the back stock? Back air. The down tilt to the back air. Good confirm. And he taunts again just for good measure. It's a good taunt to use. You can stop it at any time. Didn't your mother ever treat, treat you how to talk to a lady? Or teach, teach you how to talk to a lady? Yeah. Thank you. I don't know. I don't Nobody know. ever told me how to talk to ladies. I don't think anyone taught me how to do anything, man. So going to game three here, I think perhaps we might see a more flat stage. Just because Bayonetta gets a whole lot off of platforms. And I mean, we saw a flat stage just then, right? He uh, he got kind of right to... Um, flat stage. I feel like this is still going to be big for Captain Zack. It's going to be great. Flat regardless. stage is good. This is good for Ness too, but I feel like this is. I feel like normally when I see Ness's counter pick, they always counter pick to Battlefield. So I was expecting that. Okay. But um, hey, maybe he just likes FD all the more, or Battlefield was banned. I could see that being a case as That's well. That's also possibly true. So Captain Zach with the color counter pick back to black. He hits the sack. Something something ACDC lyrics. And uh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but... Yo, regardless, though, Sage has been showing up. I did not expect this set to be as close. Captain Zach being the player that he is, Arkansas having these extra sleepers. We thought Cheeseballer was all we had to worry about from them. But Sage showing that he is a top contender for this top 42 as well. But is Captain Zach going to take him off? And he does finally landing the afterburner combo. And look at this. This oh is the my third gosh, time he's seen it. He wow. has enough time to taunt. And rack up 30%. Oh <laughs> and it talks again. Captain Yo, Zach. Captain Zach making a statement. He Not says, <laughs> he says, you can cheer for your boy all you want, but I'm gonna stand here and dance in your face while I win. Yeah, definitely looking to show <laughs> and he's oh taunting my after goodness. every time he knocks him away, he's like, this is my time to do a little <laughs> dance. Show Dude, the little, I'm loving it. Show the boys what they're missing. Oh and he talks again! Goodness. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Arkansas is definitely not talking oh, anymore. He he has definitely said, I am in <laughs> control. Oh, my gosh. I've never seen so many consecutive Sage, taunts. wow. And another one. They, the awkward handshake ensues. They still shake hands, though, so you can tell it was fun. Yeah. They were having fun. It wasn't any, like, incredible salt or anger. Having but, a good time. Two guys, but Captain Zach able Captain to take Zach, it out in the end. Wow, dude. Yeah, honestly, was I was no, feeling it. Regardless... Sage played that matchup great. Oh, yeah. He played phenomenal. I'm no, it's not you know, an easy matchup. Yeah, not going to say anything. Sage played that matchup very well.